Hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing to understand how line works in art. And today we're going to be working on line showing movement. Okay. So here's my little example, and it could be fabric, or this one looks like it's green and white straws in a strawberry orange frosty of some kind or slushy. So it's however you want to look at it. But we're going to have this lesson and you can change it however you'd like. So we're going to start nice and simple. What do we need? We need a straight edge. A straight edge can be your ruler. You can even use the edge of a Kleenex box, another piece of paper, something that's going to help you keep a nice straight line. You need something to work with. You can do it with a pencil. It'll be a little bit harder because you got to get those dark, medium, and lights with just the pencil. Okay. With us, we're going to get that same look with a darker and a lighter. In this case, I'm going to use a marker and a colored pencil that are the same. So honestly, I don't have any red markers. So I use this raspberry or fuchsia, but a red marker and a red color pencil, green marker with a green color pencil, orange marker with an orange colored pencil. Uh, I do have a black one, but you could use your pencil. You don't see the pencil as well as you see the marker, so I'm going to use the marker. Now, what I ended up doing was taking a large piece of paper and cutting it in half so it will fit. In, so you have time to finish this lesson. Okay. Then, because I'm going to be showing you two different ways, I'm going to fold it in half so it makes a smaller almost a square we can see it's still a rectangle but it's almost like a square All right that way you don't make the top the hot dog fold you make the hamburger fold okay from there i'm going to use my straight edge and i'm going to divide it in half right. again this half I'm going to be using color, and on this half, I'm going to use just pencil. So if you're using crayons um, instead or just color pencils, if you're using either crayons or color pencils, you're going to want a darker red with a lighter red, a darker green with a lighter green, or a darker purple with a lighter purple, whatever it is. Make sure that the same color, except one is dark, one is light. That's going to make it easier on you. And like I said, you can do that with the crayons. You can do it with the color pencils. We need to map out our shape. This looks really hard, but it's not. It is basically two diagonal lines, a horizontal and a vertical. So taking your pencil or whatever you're writing with and your straight edge. I'm going to go from the corner to the corner and make sure I push down. Look how my fingers are spread out on the ruler. I'm not holding in one spot and spread out. I'm going to take my pencil and go push it against the edge of the ruler while I'm dragging it down the paper to make my straight edge. Okay, you don't want to be just guessing over here towards the side going down. You'll have a wiggly line. All right, there's one diagonal. I'm going to go to the other diagonal. Push down, spread my fingers out, push against the ruler while I drag it across the straight edge. There's my two diagonals. And I said I needed a vertical. 
in the middle. I'm making sure I go right where the middle is and I'm guessing about how far to put my ruler over. So as I go through that middle, I'm doing pretty good. And a horizontal. And voila! That's pretty much all you really need with your straight edge. Hmm. Do you see it yet? Well, let's work on the next step. The next step is we're going to do every other one with a curved line going in one direction. And then in between, we're going to do curved lines the other direction. What? I know. Hang in there. All right, I'm going to start in this first little triangle. Now's the time for me to zoom in. Whoa, that's really close. That'll help you see. All right, I'm zooming into my first triangle. I'm going to start here near the bottom, and I'm going to do a rainbow. Make sure I space it out a little bit, almost the size of my finger rainbow okay rainbow 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 now I got a little tricky there I, I started a little bit closer and I ended a little bit bigger okay. I'll let you go ahead and do that I'll continue in five four, three, two, one. Even if you're not done, let's go ahead and see what's going on because it's a pattern. I'm going to skip one and I'm going to get to the next one. Same thing. A rainbow shape. This is our curved lines. Curved lines. Curved lines. And because I have this extra space, I'm just going to go and fall off the page. You would make your art teacher so proud by falling off the paper. Over here, I didn't have enough room. Pretty much right where that corner was, that's where that next rainbow would have gone. And this, if you imagine the rainbow, would probably finish up here off of our paper. If it's not on the paper, we don't have to draw it. Skip one. Moving on, we've got two more of these, so I'm on to this one. And if you start with pencil, just in case you end up doing the wrong triangle, you can erase it. I'm not allowed to mess up with my marker here. It'll still look cool. It just won't have the same effect. All right, skip one. And here's my last one. Should not be touching anybody else. Rainbow, rainbow. So you see I went a little bit faster because it's a pattern. And my math-minded children out there, you already saw that pattern. Okay. So those are the rainbows. They make us happy and smile. So we're going to do smiles in between our rainbows. So starting here. Now, you could line it up with your lines. Or you can move it a little bit. So I'm not going to worry about it touching the same spot. I'm going to come down a little bit. And I'm going to do a little smile line to the next one. Here, I'll start where it's a little bit easier. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Smile. I turn my paper so it actually looks like a smile. Smile. Oop, I fell off the paper. And I might even start a little smile over there. That last little corner. Hmm. The rainbows are going to make me smile, so let me turn it so I can do my little smile. 
between those. My smile between those. Another smile. It's like the emoji little smile. Back in my day, we actually just called them happy faces. And smile. Alright, looks like we have two more to do our smiles with. Okay, over here. Smile. 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 And my smile falls off. Again, whether you're doing this with just pencil or you're getting ready to do it with the markers, you everybody should be doing this part with me. Okay, when it comes to coloring, you can fast forward past the coloring to go to the black and white, or you can stop it after the coloring if you're not interested in the black and white. You have controls of the video. All right, my last one, smile. 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 Like it doesn't have to line up exactly. It might actually look a little better if it's not lined up exactly. And smile. All right. So, everybody should have this part done. Most likely with your pencil. Or you can go on top of it with your marker if you want it nice and dark. Okay. So I'm going to start with the colors first to explain it. So when we look at our example, you can see there's dark colors on the outside and a lighter color on the inside. Okay, then you change colors. Dark color on the outside, lighter color on the inside. And you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. But the one next to it, you're going to skip every other one and you're going to use a completely contrasting color. So you could make this complementary looking, which is what mine is leaning towards. You got red and green, although I did add the orange in there. Or you could stick with analogous colors, the ones that are next to each other, and do something like uh, yellow, green, and blue. You know, or pick your three favorite colors. We're all about learning, having fun with art. Okay, so we see the red ones are going to be every other one, and the green ones are going to go in between. Let's start with the green ones, since those are a little bit easier. And I'm actually going to start with one of the bigger ones so it's easy for you to see. You're going to when you color with the crayon, pencil, or marker, you want to go in the same shape as your line. This is not a straight line. It curves. So as you're coloring with the green marker, make sure you're curving it the same way as you did your pencil lines or your marker lines, whichever you use. And you'll notice I'm not going all the way across. I'm just going on the edge. We're creating different values and that you'll learn a little bit later. And the values are going to be what makes it look kind of three-dimensional. gives the illusion that it's three-dimensional. And I did the other side. That's my dark value. Now, because the pencil is not going to be as dark as my marker, I get notice I'm making it that same kind of smiley face curve. I just happen to be going back and forth. You could just go in one direction. 
the smiley face, smiley face coloring. And I'm trying to go all the way across so I don't have it stop in the middle and not look as good. And back it up, back it up, back it up, just to smooth it all out. Ta-da! All right, so we didn't do the top one. We did this one. I'm going to skip one, and I'm going to repeat the green. Curve it with the marker on the edge or the darker green. Curve it on the other side. And in between, a lighter shade of that color, in my case green. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, curve it, curve, 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 curve. curve. All right. And I completed that one. Then I'm going to skip one, and I only have one more left. You might have more. If you have more, you're just going to have to keep going. When you get down to this little tip, your greens are going to touch each other at the base of the triangle or the triangle or the V shape. And then you're just going to have a little bit of that green in between. Because you have more dark in here than light, it's going to make it look like it's going further away from you. And this is the closest part. And that's the furthest part. It's like going into a hole. That's the illusion. All right, I'm going to skip one. Move on to the other one. Once I show you this one, you're on your own for the last two. Right. So review. Right. I do not have to do the same. I can do the opposite. I can leave the very tip white. And I can do a little bit of green on one side. Curving it, curving it. A little bit on the other side. And use the lighter value. Let me turn it so you can see the smiley face action that I'm curving it to match my pencil lines, or in my case, my black marker line. There's that. Skip one. And bringing it in. Bringing it in. You can bring it a little bit more. Notice I didn't do a straight line down. You don't want to do that. You want to actually curve it in so you can catch that curve. And smiley face. Back and forth, back and forth, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Not a straight line, smiley face, smiley face. And practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better you get. And you just can't help it. Our bodies are designed that way. We are not born being NFL players. You actually have to practice to become an NFL or an NBA player or a major soccer league player, or a cheerleader that's on the team. Not everybody is good at everything. And some people, even though you want to be really good at it, it either doesn't come naturally, or you're not trying really hard. You get bored doing the push-ups or the sit-ups. You get bored coloring inside the lines or, you know, mixing the paint to match it up with the other colors. You know, you get, it's just hard. And yes, it's hard. It takes practice. Okay, like I promised, I was going to show you two. The other two green ones are on your own. Let's focus on how we do the ones in between. And I'm going to start with this one in between the two greens. Now what I have left are my reds and my oranges. 
So here we went green, white, green, white, green, white. This one's going to be red, orange, red, orange, red, orange. And we're going to do it the same way, but heads up, we're not making smiley faces anymore. We're making those rainbow shapes. Starting with my marker, I'm going to rainbow the edge, rainbow this edge, and rainbow the red in between. Just like we did with the green. And we'll look. I'm going to skip one, do the next one. Now some of you might be like me and you sit there and go, but you know what, the smiley face is so much easier. Well, let me turn my paper upside down and do that smiley face curve. There's no rules how you're doing it. Look at me, I'm in such a hurry, I got off my line. That's going to bother me. Maybe if I straighten it out and then go on top of it with the black, I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't focused on that. I was focused on talking. All right. So like I said, if you turned it over, you're back to your smiley faces. If you still have it this way, you're doing your rainbow shapes. It's whichever one your hand is most comfortable with. Try both. You might discover you like doing it one way more than the other. Got one more. Okay. I'm bringing it in on the edge. Back and forth, smiley face or rainbow, rainbow or smiley face, whichever way you did it. Just match the pencil curves. Or again, the black marker curves. Alright, so I've done every one of those. It's time for me to do the other color in between. So here's my orange. On one side, orange on the other. I think we have our pattern figured out now. Curve the line, curve the line, curve the line. And take the lighter color. Make sure it gets curved as well. You'd be amazed our eyes can see this stuff. And the more precise you make it, the more three-dimensional it's going to start looking. Make sure you fill in each section. Check those curves. Make sure you're going the right direction. All right, if you need to pause the video while you get caught up, because I'm not doing all of them, I am just showing you how I did all of them. All right, so you're going to continue with the colors until you have completed your design. As promised, I'm going to show how to do it with just pencil. We're 
using, in a sense, six colors. A dark red, a light red, a dark green, a light green, a dark orange, a light orange. How are we going to do all of that? With just a pencil? Well, this is a more advanced skill. And we're going to do it by how hard or light we push on our pencil. The harder we push on it, the darker it's going to be. The lighter we push on it, the lighter it's going to be. So we're going to have to come up with six different ways of pushing on it. Okay, just like we started the other one. Remember, you already have this part done, so I'm just going to quickly review diagonal with the straight edge. Diagonal, vertical, and horizontal. And that's all you need for your straight edge. Let's get that nice star shape going. All right. Then you also did okay, those smiley faces. Again, I'm just getting caught up. You should have already done this with us during the first demonstration. Let's mention you do have the power to pause and replay any part of this video that you need. And the rainbow part. And this is how people also show like a flag waving, you know, fabric, ribbon. Because that fabric makes these folds. That go in and out. So you already have this part onto the pencil. And this is just a regular pencil. If you have drawing pencils, you have it so much easier than I. Because you're not going to have to push as hard on your pencil. Okay, we're going to start with the green ones. So my green ones are the smiley faces in that little triangle and I'm going to start up here near the top just like we did and with my pencil again following that curve just like we kind of did with the color pencil part it must be curved don't do it straight and it's going to take practice Now, you're going to need to make sure you do that by pressing pretty hard on your pencil. Because green is pretty dark over here. So we need it to look the same darkness. That's that value again. Over here, curving, curving, curving. Pushing hard. It's okay to go over it again and again. All right. 
there's the dark. Now, don't do it as hard in the middle. I'm obviously not pushing as hard on my pencil as I'm going back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to give you a little bit of fun thing to do with your pencil too. No, actually, it's going to be your finger. All right, so you can see this is darker, this is lighter, just like over here when we use two different colors. Take a tissue, a little piece of toilet paper, a little bit of Kleenex, paper towel, something to cover your finger, and go on top. And you're going to just gently rub. Notice again, I'm doing that smiley face rub. And you see how it's just kind of softening it and going in there? Okay. So I kind of took a little bit too much away in my corner. And guess what? I can take my pencil and come back in and add it back to it. Adding it back. Look at that. That's graphite getting on to your tissue. Now keep in mind when you do that, it's, sometimes you fall out of your lines. So you might want to keep an eraser nearby. I recommend one that has some straight edges. Because then you can get it right up to the lines and clean up your work as you're going along. Right. Skip one, repeat. Again, pushing dark, curved, to match the other curved lines. Oops, I pulled that down a little bit. And curved, curved, curved. And not as dark in the middle. Gentle, gentle. Look at that. We made two different colors. We made dark green and light green. Paper towel or tissue of some kind. Soften it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Next one. And you're going to keep going and keep going. And lighter in the middle. So we got that nice and dark on the edges. I'm going to twist it this time because my finger is too big. And use that to kind of rub in there. Oh, I almost made the mistake of rubbing with my hand. That would have been a sneery mess. All right, congratulations. You now have your green straw. You'll do it for your other green straw. And now we need to create the middle. So, With my green straw, I can again match it up. And the darks on the outside, lighter in the middle, darker on the outside. And yes, I can still rub, but I'm going to speed up a little bit. This is a review on how to do the green. In the dark. Please don't try and keep up right now. Just review. You know what to do. Don't rush it. That's when accidents happen. And I'm sure I'm about to have a big accident. But 
And I want you to be doing this, not just watching me. Okay, come back in. Do my rubs. It's not going to look as nice as the other one. I didn't take as much time, but it's still going to have that cool effect. Clean it up. All right. So you know how to do the greens because we worked together on one. I reviewed it on the other. The other two, you're on your own. It's pretty easy because you get to skip one in between. So now, how do we do colors that are almost the same <clears throat> but different than the others? Now keep in mind, the red is going to be close to the green. Okay. And the orange is going to be a little bit lighter. All right, so I'm going to be thinking in my brain which one's going to be the reds. And I think I'm going to go in between and it changed directions. We're no longer doing smiley faces, we're doing the rainbows. Let's change directions. And it's going up. is going up. Now, I started where it's touching the white. That way I can go almost the same. Press them nice and dark. Bring it nice and light. Taking my tissue, give it a little zhuzh, a gentle little rub. And you see, it's pretty much the same, but it doesn't matter because they're not touching each other. So when you get to the ones that are touching the white, it really doesn't matter how dark or light you do it. So with that, I'm going to do kind of dark. And then kind of dark. And curve those lines. Light. Might need to sharpen my pencil here soon. I have it perfectly smoothed out on that one side. And I'll have to teach my hand how hard or lightly to press on it if I sharpen it. So hopefully I don't have to. There's that one. And I have a little bit of one here. Okay, so this was kind of the same. All right, so now think about how hard you did this section. You're going to do it for these other sections. And in the middle, you're going to leave it white. So, remember how hard we pushed on the ones next to the white? This one, I'm going to lightly push on. I'm going to do that just a little bit more so you can kind of see it on the screen. And this is why I don't use pencils all the time. Go. And on the side, lightly, just like the middle of the green straws. That's how hard I'm pushing it. So it's light, just like the middle of the green straws. And I'm leaving this white because guess what? When I smear it, Some of that smear is going to go on the white and make it look like a color. It almost looks too white here, so let me darken it up. So again, you can see it. I can see it on my paper, but the camera is not seeing it. So let me darken it up. And there you go. So it's lighter. 
and this one is darker. This one should be darker too, so I'm just going to darken the whole thing up. That's a tiny little spot. So you're given that illusion of a darker one, a lighter one, kind of like the darker one and the lighter one over here. This one not as dark. We're dark enough for the camera. The camera still doesn't like that, so I'm going to darken it a little more. Curve, curve, curve those lines. Yeah, bring it white in the middle. And again, the camera doesn't like that because you can't really see it. So I'm coming back and darkening it a little bit more. There we go. And my next one. So I know it's not easy. I love those little ones. That was fast. And this bottom one's supposed to be in the darker red. Ta -da. So you can still get the same effect as you're working on this. Let's see if I can pull this away so you start getting more of the effect. Mm -hmm. You should be getting the same effect, but you're using just a pencil. It's harder, guys. I'm not going to lie. And it takes more practice. Obviously, I need more practice. The good news is I can still go in here and just kind of take away a little bit of that. To help it have a little bit more of an effect. So you can even use your eraser to help out in some of these areas. Mm -hmm. And voila, you just start practice, practice, practice. And it's okay to get it wrong. And that's what these lovely process journals are all about. It's practice. And I have all kinds of practice little projects in here that I've been working on. All right, some of it, I'm just, <laughs> I was actually keeping a little date of stuff. Writing down all kinds of little things. Getting some ideas on, ooh, that mixed together pretty good. Ooh, how fun are these? Mm -hmm. right. No, you don't have to have one of these. Obviously, you can just do it on a little practice piece of paper. And you're going to get it. I hope you enjoy this line showing movement project. There are more to come. Stay tuned.